good morning everyone i'm dr samna and i'll be reporting a case of traumatic hyphema in a hemophiliac child uh, so hemophilia a also known as classic hemophilia is an x-linked recessive disorder caused by the deficiency of factor 8 it is the most common type of hemophilia affecting around 1 in 10000 males worldwide traumatic hyphema refers to the accumulation of rbcs in the anterior chamber most commonly following blunt trauma to the eye Medical management in a case of traumatic hyphema includes topical corticosteroids, topical cycloplegics and topical anti-glaucoma medications. Surgical intervention includes AC paracentesis with peripheral iridectomy or trabeculectomy. So this is the case of 6 year old male child who presented with diminution of vision in right eye following blunt trauma 12 days prior to the presentation. The child has a known case of hemophilia A since 8 months of age. On examination, the vision in right eye was uh, PL positive with accurate PR. Anterior chamber showed the total formed hyphema with a fibrinous clot superior temporally. Uh, there was diffuse corneal endothelial blood staining with the microcystic edema and the intraocular pressure was found to be 34 millimeters of mercury. Uh, B scan showed uh, vitreous hemorrhage. The other eye findings were within normal limits. So we started the child on tobramycin 0.3% eye drops, homotropin 2% eye drops and we got glaucoma evaluation done and uh, we started the child on dozolamide 2% eye drops. Cornea evaluation was also done and the child was advised to undergo right eye anterior chamber paracentesis with clear corneal incision with uh, intracameral triamcinolone and air bubble to be injected just before the closure. Accordingly, we did investigations and the fact child's factor 8 level was found to be 7% which is very low. APTT uh, was prolonged, INR was also raised. Uh, therefore, as per pediatrician and hematologist advice, fresh frozen plasma transfusion of, of uh, 15 international units per kg was started. We gave a start dose of 750 international units followed by 375 international units 12th hourly for a week. So after one week of transfusion, vision was uh, PL positive, PR accurate, intraocular pressure had uh, reduced to 18 millimeters of mercury, hyphema had also subsided uh, sparing the uh, fibrinous clot which was in the superior temporal region. Uh, there was one plus reaction in the anterior chamber with the endothelial staining. Uh, Midriasis was present, posterior sinica noted at one o'clock position. Iris atrophic patches were present. Lens was cataractus and uh, indirect ophthalmoscopy showed vitreous hemorrhage. And we asked the child to continue the same treatment. Thus, the hyphema had resol resolved with conservative treatment, avoiding the surgical intervention. One month follow-up, vision was uh, vision in the right eye was hand movement positive. Intraocular pressure was 14 millimeters of mercury and anterior chamber was squared. Uh, rest of the findings were similar. At three month follow up, the child had developed esotropia in the right eye with uh, vision of counting fingers at two meters. Intraocular pressure was 14 millimeters of mercury. Uh, there was traumatic midriasis with iris atrophy. Posterior sinica was noted at 10 o'clock and one and two o'clock positions. There was a fibrinous addition present at 10 o'clock position. Ectropion uvia was present. Uh, lens was cataractus. Iris pigments were present on the anterior capsule. And there was subluxation noted from 3 to 5 o'clock position with uh, phacodonesis. Uh, there was uh, vitreous hemorrhage had resolved and uh, there were R RPE alteration. Rest of the findings were normal. So we sought the pediatric ophthalmology opinion and the child was advised to undergo right eye cataract surgery with the uh, fourth row pupillary, pupilloplasty. But the parents refused the surgery. At present, like one month before, uh, uh, the vision in the right eye had improved to counting fingers at 3 meter. Intraocular pressure was maintained. Uh, traumatic midriasis and uh, subluxation was present with the uh, cataractus lens. Uh, so uh, CDG Mossman et al. in a case of traumatic hyphema in a 9 year old boy uh, with hemophilia A reported that factor A transfusion has to be started immediately even if there are minor signs of intraocular hemorrhage. Uh, whereas Selwyn Belvirani uh, et al. in a case of traumatic hyphema in a 60 year old, 16 year old boy with severe hemophilia A reported that Early clot removal could be done along with factor 8 replacement and also in the post-operative period we have to continue the same for about a week. In our hemophiliac patient, although surgical management was initially planned, traumatic hyphema resolved with just factor 8 transfusion annihilating the need for surgical intervention. So to conclude, uh, the normal factor 8 level is between 150 to uh, 150%. Our child had uh, 7%. Uh, traumatic hyphema usually resolves with conservative management alone. Early initiation of uh, factor A transfusion is the need of the hour in hemophilia patients presenting with traumatic hyphema. If any surgical procedure is planned, uh, factor A transfusion is required during the procedure and has to be continued post-operative period as well. These are my <coughs> references. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Shivne. Very nice presentation. Thank you.
uh, and uh, anyhow you are a ratified uh, non ratified person so we are not going to give you any marks but it was an eye opener for all of us to learn and and i think the main uh, this thing is that that history so anyone can come with a similar present of trauma so this hemophilia uh, patient did you discover it or the patient somato said that i am hemophilic a known hemophiliac sir at 8 mm. months of age the mother noticed that the child had uh, swelling in the knees so when okay. she he was taken to the doctors uh, there was hematrhosis and uh, he was diagnosed with uh, hemophilia a sir that is fine good presentation